I just had a thought to try something. Yeah, let's see if it works. Oh, getting somewhere. I got it to start for like a split second and then it kills. Just to test the system out, I hooked up a push button start. Running, but before I start driving it, I want to change out the gauges, wire the new ones in, get the combo switches wired in, do something with the fuse box, get me a little radio, connect the shifter, a few other things I want to go over, uh, bleed the brakes, give it a tune up, little things here and there. Then I'd consider it drivable and I can worry about getting the interior finished. Still need to put the vinyl in and secure little parts. Still not cute, but it runs. And that tailpipe has to go. Might chop it off for now and then get a new one welded on later. The issue of why I wasn't starting was the coil positive wasn't getting any power. So I was able to rig up a push button start and that worked so I figured well I can use the factory ignition and hook a toggle switch up to the constant power and the coil and when I did that it worked and the toggle switch will kill power to the engine and it'll shut off but I'm not an electrician so the car's now running I'm glad it is but if it had been running a little sooner I could have taken it to a car show today but I'll still go and spectate and get some video of some nice cars if they're there all right i'm back i'll post some videos it was more of a drag racing event than a car show i want to start it again just because i'm so happy that i can this is the toggle that's temporarily hooked up This is the used connector I was using and got a new OEM style and put that in its place. I had to extend it a few inches to route it correctly. It was short like my weave. This is a six pin connector, also an OEM style. I use for the front and back lights. That's headlights and the signals. And the mess they're starting to look a little better this is a four pin connector i reuse and this is to give power to the lights and i'll post a link to the video in the description that i use to reference the wiring for this connector and this one now this one i did switch the left and right signals around because the car that was being used in the video was a right hand drive car So I got the signal lights working correctly. So I was going to shorten the pipe, then I seen the muffler had a hole in it. I have two Magnaflow mufflers. Uh, maybe I can get either one or rig it up to where both of them work with a dual exhaust. 
The ignition and the lights are taken care of. I still got the brake lights to tap into the brake light switch. Down on the pedal, the dimmer switch, but that'll be with the new gauges. I'll try to take care of that next time. Fully complete the rest of the wiring. Just for S and G, so I'll have a little sound clip without that muffler, so a straight pipe for now until I get the either the other one or two put on. That's it for this time.